Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Ariana and I am a WordPress enthusiast just like you. On a previous video, I talked a little bit about what the error 404 is and how you can fix it on your WordPress site. But today I want to talk a little bit, explain a little bit what the 401 error is and how you can get rid of it. A 401 unauthorized error is an HTTP status code indicating that the server received an unverified request. In human terms, all that this means is that the website you are trying to access won't load until you log in with a valid username, ID, and password. This can be caused by maybe you're trying to access an incorrect URL, you're using an invalid credential, false login requirements, DNS errors, a security firewall issue, or maybe just a plugin causing the issue. But fear not. <laughs> This is how you can fix it and just make sure that before you try anything, have a backup of your website. You can start by checking that the URL is correct, that there is no typos or that there are no changes in the login URL. There are cases in which the 401 error can actually occur when the website no longer exists. And as an extra tip, you can also try a search engine just to try to find the correct URL of the website that you're trying to access. Also try clearing your browser's cookie and cache. Since there can be an invalid login information stored locally in your browser, that can be disrupting the login process and throwing the 401 error. So basically by clearing the browser's cookie and cache, you can just get rid of this issue fairly quickly and easy. Since WordPress plugins are always changing the way that your website is behaving, they can be usually the cause of the 401 error. You can try by deactivating each one of the plugins that you have installed on your WordPress site and then just start activating one by one and see which one causes the issue. And then once you have been pointed out the, the plugin, the specific one that is causing this issue, you can reach out to the support team so they can assist you in how to fix this issue. DNS errors are very rare, but sometimes they can actually be the cause for your servers to throw in the 401 error. Now to fix this, all you have to do is flush your DNS. So for Windows users like myself, you only have to follow these simple steps. First, make sure that you log in to your computer as an admin. Then you're going to open a search window, type in cmd.exe in the search field to open the command prompt. And lastly, you are going to have to enter a little code on the CMD interface. And I'm going to leave it right here for you to have it. Very handy. Now for Mac users, it's very, very simple. It's just two steps. You have to open the command terminal and enter this code that I'm gonna leave right here. Now this fix is actually very easy to do, but if you feel intimidated, don't worry. I mean, everybody has been there. You can always ask for help to any of your friends, family, that you feel like they may be a little bit more tech savvy. And lastly, reload the page. As simple as it may seem, just by closing the browser and reopening it may be enough to fix the 401 issue, but only if it's been caused by a misloaded page. And remember, sometimes waiting can also help you. There are some hosting companies that may block your IP if they consider that you may be doing something malicious and then your site gets locked down for a period of time. Or in the case that you are just trying to access somebody else's website and the 401 error shows up, it can just be that their website is actually just under maintenance. I really hope this tips can help you and if you have any other suggestions or questions, make sure that you leave them in the comment section and I really look forward to seeing you again.